In today's work, you have two tasks. The first one is to identify and label the parts of a globe. Now, globe is a map of the Earth. Globe's round because the Earth is round. There's only one really good way to see how all the continents look and where they are in relation to each other. Now, there are four parts of the globe that we talked about earlier. If you cut the globe in half horizontally across the middle, you get a top half and a bottom half. We call the top half the northern hemisphere. The bottom half is called the, north, uh, the southern hemisphere. It's got this imaginary line here through the middle that we call the equator. Uh, another way to split the globe in two is to cut it in half vertically, top to bottom. When we do that, one half is called the western hemisphere, the other half is called the eastern hemisphere, and there's this line here that we call the prime meridian that chops the globe in two. So for today's work, you're going to trace uh, the equator with a red line. You'll color the northern hemisphere with a green, uh, with green, and the southern hemisphere in blue. And you are going to trace the prime meridian in purple, color the eastern hemisphere in yellow, and the western hemisphere in orange. For the next part of this work today, you're going to label the parts of the globe. So. For this work here, you're going to identify some continents that are in different hemispheres. Now, keeping in mind that some continents might be in more than one hemisphere. So what are some continents that are in the northern hemisphere? Again, keeping in mind that the northern hemisphere is everything above the equator. The southern hemisphere is everything below the equator. And again, the Eastern Hemisphere, chopping the Earth in half this way. The Eastern Hemisphere is everything on this side, everything to the east of the Prime Meridian, and everything to the west of the Prime Meridian is the Western Hemisphere. First thing you'll do here is you'll label the equator and the Prime Meridian, just to review what those lines are. And then you're going to type in these spaces here, uh, what continents are in those hemispheres.